So in terms of how this all started, as a molecular biology major, I basically just missed being able to see things for myself. And it was around that time I was reading about different articles about how to make cheap DIY microscope. And I was able to get some really you know, amazing images out of it, but still it was really hard to hold everything in the right place and stuff like that. And it was around that same time that a friend of mine who is a uh, wildlife immunologist, she was complaining about how like all the different uh, field microscopes out there sucked. And so I said, well, you know, I was interested in working on this, like, don't worry, I'll make you a better one. And so basically what it took to build this was a lot of iterative baby steps, where in each step I tried to learn as much as possible. Um, and I could talk about, you know, what I learned from each step for a long time, but basically I really want to try to improve it as much as possible, because I was using these microscopes at each and every step. And even as polished as this is, we're still working on making improvements. For instance, we put in this dimmer switch to uh, adjust the brightness, but we may or may not include it because it turns out the camera auto exposure works pretty well. Um, some of the things we are going to include are machined aluminum tubes because we have this wiggle in here right now and we want to get rid of that as much as possible. And all these things are, are bundled with the, the pledge because you know, we want to make the best microscopes possible.